In this video, I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way to create a new page inside of Notion and get started in your Notion workspace. Let's not waste another second and get right into it. Once you're inside of the Notion dashboard, we're gonna head down the left-hand side and click on the new page button in the bottom left. This is going to open up a new page and it's going to be under your private pages. So we can add a title for our new page. We're going to call it Notion Basics. And then the first thing I like to do when I create a new page is to add an icon. Now you can choose what kind of icon you want. You can upload a custom icon or you can just use one of the many. So we can add whatever we want and that's going to help you identify where your pages are when you start linking everything together and building out your workspace on Notion. Once we've added an icon, we can then add a cover background image and you can change this cover. And the great thing is they have a whole lot of options inside of your gallery and they've also linked to Unsplash. So you can access any of the cool images that Unsplashed have. So you can select the one that you like and then you can select reposition and you can move it around so that it fits exactly how you want it to look. And just by adding these first three elements to your page, it's already starting to look like our own page, which is really nice to have. Now we have a couple of options with our page. We can have it empty with the icon that we've added. We can just have it as an empty page. We can input one of our templates that we've created, or we can create a database within our page. And then it's got a whole lot of different view options for you for your database. We've got table, board, list, timeline, calendar, and gallery view. If you want to find out more about databases in Notion, you can watch our full video here where we go in depth on databases. For this example, we're going to select an empty page and then I want you to type in forward slash and this is going to give you the options within a page. Now we can add text, we can add a sub page inside of the page, add a to-do list, headings, we can add in a table, a bulleted list, a numbered list, a toggle list, a quote, a divider, link to another page, you can have a call out and there are a whole lot of other options that you can also add. This is where Notion gets really powerful and you can really start using it to do some cool workspaces. So we're just gonna add some text in here and then I want you to head out of your page so we can see where it has put it. So it's gonna be under private on the left hand side and you can see there is our Notion basics. Now we can click on it and I want to add a sub page within this page now. So we're gonna go forward slash, we're gonna add another page it's gonna open up a new page and we're gonna call this sub page for Notion and we're going to have it empty with an icon. So we've added the icon there. And then I want you to have a look at how it looks inside your main page. So this is our Notion basics page and now our sub page is inside there. And the great thing is you can organize your sub pages inside of your main page. So if we wanna move it to the right hand side, so we have it next to our text, you can move it across there and you can create a really nice dashboard by having sub pages and sub databases inside of your main page. And then if we head back over to the left hand side, if you click on this down arrow, it's gonna show you all the sub pages that you have inside of your main page. So if you look at our workspace, this is our workspace for our YouTube channel. And then if we go into our clients, you'll see we have all of the clients that we do videos for on the left-hand side inside of our main clients page. So it's really useful to be able to have these drop-downs. So you can expand them when you want to look at all details and you can hide that away when you want it to look clean and manageable. Now what happens if you create a page and you want to delete it? So let's go into our sub page and then you can head up to the right hand side, click on those three dots and you can scroll down and you can delete that page and it will be removed for you. And that's how you can create and edit pages inside of Notion. If you have any questions or queries about getting started in Notion, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to help you out. If you like Notion as much as we do, make sure you smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video.